Gotcha! <laughs> it worked! And the best part is, because this video is the announcement of the winners and the showcase for artworks in the recent art competition, Future Clickbait, this was a justifiable and excusable use of clickbait to get you to click on this video! But if you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail and you're feeling potentially disappointed, don't, don't go anywhere! Because there's awesome artwork in this video, and that's the key to justifying clickbait. It's having a really good payoff. So people first feel annoyed, and then they're okay with it. Because it was worth it in the end. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza, and as I mentioned in the intro, this video is the showcase and the announcement of the winners to the future clickbait art competition, where participants were required to create a depiction of a future that is heavily affected by the rampant, incredibly invasive, and unstoppable effect of clickbait on society. Is it dystopian or... I mean, it's probably not utopian. Most entries were dystopian. Clickbait isn't the most wonderful of things. It's just sort of unavoidable. Today, we're gonna to be looking at some amazing entries of artists who have depicted what this future may well look like. As always, there are amazing prizes up for grabs. And before we jump into the showcase and then eventually the winners, I wanted to remind you guys, if you're interested in getting notified of future art competitions, cause they're a little unpredictable and irregular. They're not monthly like they used to be. There is a newsletter you can subscribe to, which only sends out newsletters regarding the competition which is only usually two or three times a year now so if you want to enter future competitions or make sure you don't miss the great entries when they happen make sure to click that link in the description to sign up to the newsletter and you won't get any spam or anything except for the announcement of the competitions and the announcement of the winners so as always we start off with the showcase of the competition which is basically a batch of people whose entries I thought were really notable or creative we start off our showcase with a piece by artist Jay West is bless called bait apocalypse a pretty clear slide Slightly grim but very colourful depiction of the future of web browsing. Murray Dawson's Click Dystopia has a really cool sharp edge aesthetic to it. I love the silhouette of the main figure in the centre there and that mix of strong colours against the dark contrast. Chubby J Draw's piece They Protect Us from Serious Clickbait has a really cool weird utopian feel to it. It's almost like humans have adapted to create cybernetic implants to click off of or I guess click on clickbait. And Desico's Future Clickbait and tree has a really cool painting style to it and is really easy to sort of understand what's going on here. I love the mix of colors and the painting style and that really cool aesthetic. It has almost a Pixar-like edge to the silhouettes. Ultraviolenta's piece The Robot Revolution has the cool aesthetic to it. It's a really nice clear layout of someone browsing a future desktop. Meanwhile artist Zost created a future clickbait entry which shows the future of clickbait much more apocalyptic. I guess after the apocalypse happened because of how we destroyed ourselves due to our clickbaitiness, the clickbait habits stuck and we just sort of tend to trap each other into our little cannibalistic huts. <laughs> I don't know. Vlad G's entry media dystopia has a lot going on that I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but it's very colorful and cool. We have a character that's reminiscent of Wally's chubby floating chair characters floating into the engulfing Aladdin-like Cave of Wonders mouth of the future of YouTube, I guess? I don't know if this is meant to be in a virtual world. Either way, this person is getting sucked into a clickbaity black hole and it's a very nice painting. Totoro's TARDIS entry is a little more non-naturalistic, but I like the way that it mixes revolutionary aspects of society with a semi-dystopian over-corporate clickbaity world and a central figure. Magrisa's Click Me entry is less of a take on society and more of a take on how a member of society is reacting to what clickbait is like in the future and I guess it's very similar to how we react to clickbait. Today. Artist Fusion Zero Q's piece is a really cool, glitchy, techy version of clickbait. I, I guess sort of mixing the digital world while showing a real person experiencing clickbait. Kathleen VR's Future of Clickbait entry is an interesting depiction I haven't seen. I guess clickbait is integrated into future versions of robot kittens, which are then, I guess sadistically, by people pulling the puppet strings, used to create an oncoming apocalypse. The plan must be as follows. Part one, integrate cute little kittens with ads on their tummy 
tummies into society. Step two, get people distracted by the kittens and their tummy ads. Step three, apocalypse. And our final showcase piece is by Sonoza 05. I love the composition of this piece. It's got a Blade runner -y aesthetic to it. It has a really interesting and ambitious use of textures and effects in this piece. I love the creativity of entries in this competition. Really fun to see people put their ideas into, well, very varied interpretations of the theme. Now it's time to move on to some of the prize categories. Now, as usual, there are two categories that people can enter. The beginner category or the open category. The beginner category is, as always, reserved for people very young or very new to art. So let's jump to the runner up and the winner of the beginner category. The runner up of the beginner category goes to Cupcake Awesomeness with their piece depicting quite simply the mundanity of the future of clickbait. There was just something about the simplicity of the idea that worked so well and totally conveys a very realistic future of clickbait integrated into day to day life. You can't even escape it when you're taking a dump. And the winner of the beginner category is artist The Sky Is Falling 567 with a piece titled Something Real. This piece is just so ambitious and the artist has really pushed themselves and developed their skills here with their efforts in digital art. I love the composition and the perspective in this piece. The sense of scale is really effective and the advertisements and the high-tech society sort of shown to us is really cool. But at the same time we can also see someone graffitiing up one of the walls in the city to show pictures of trees and nature long lost to this future civilization. An amazing mix of colors, texture and ambition and a fantastic entry. Congratulations to the runner-up of the beginner category. You will receive an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop, which is where I have all of my digital goodies from ebooks to video courses, brushes, apps, and loads more for you to get your creative juices flowing, whether it be entertainment or tutorials. There's a load there for everyone watching this to check out if you're interested in art and creativity and supporting the channel. The winner of the beginner category, as well as receiving an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop, will also receive a signed copy of my book, Draw with Jazza Creating Characters characters, your go-to guide for character design, as well as a Huion Inspiroy H640P tablet. This great entry-level tablet is affordable and features a battery-free stylus design with 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. There are six customizable express keys and switch and ultra-thin design. It's an amazing device and you can use the coupon code on the screen to get a discount. Available only to this audience and for a limited time, so go check it out while you can. The link is in the description. The beginner category winner will also receive six months of free premium skill Skillshare membership. Skillshare is an amazing website and resource with over 25,000 classes in illustration, drawing and design and more. Whether you want to learn animation or filmography and cinematography, there is so much on Skillshare for you to explore, including courses made by yours truly on how to be a YouTuber and how to present to camera. Learn from experts and if you're an expert, you can teach yourself and earn a little bit of cash and build your social media following on the side. Go check out Skillshare, it's an amazing resource and special deal for people watching this video, you can get two months of free premium Skillshare membership by clicking the link in the card and in the description and this is limited to the first 1,000 people to use the code so get in while you can. Now we arrive to the open category and we have some finalists that I've chosen a winner and a runner up from. However anyone who hasn't won that first prize will be in the running for the community prize which is something you vote on which I'll get to the details of later. The first of two finalists is artist Baby Blue Jay with a piece depicting future clickbait which apparently entails the biggest pimple in the world. World. I couldn't help but notice that and laugh. <laughs> Definitely shows a future society stricken by clickbait, but is really well orchestrated as an image. I love the characters painting and the rim lighting on them, the mix of colors and that neon feel, really nice contrast and really nice epic composition and angle in the piece as well. And second, we have a piece by artist Rebecca Nidirath depicting a futuristic clickbait ridden city. There's a really nice tonality in this piece. I love those warm and purple hues throughout the piece creating that futuristic aesthetic. Nice mixture of textures as well. I love the character style and just the little tweaks on how the future of society is just that little bit different but clickbait has always remained the same. None of the finals will go empty handed. All of them will receive a free copy of my custom Photoshop brushes available on the jazzastudios.com shop. I use these for everything. I make my book with them, make thumbnails with them, I create custom artworks and paintings with them. Simple, complex, they cover everything I use personally. I made them for myself and I use them for everything so if you want to check them out for your digital art where you can go check them out on the jazzastudios.com shop. Links in the card and in the description. And the runner-up of the open category is artist Robson990 entitled Futuristic Clickbait Cityscape Concept Art. It has such an epic sense of scale. It reminds me sort of of the fifth element in terms of that futuristic 
city look really well put together. I love the subtle uh, Easter egg of Jazza in the, the clickbaity thumbnails. I guess I uh, stand to have an impact on future society, <laughs> whether that be for good or ill, apparently ill. <laughs> Love the composition of this piece. That sense of scale and scope is epic. The textures and yet the simplicity, it's all just so well pulled off and really stunning. Fantastic entry and well deserving of the prize place in the open category. Congratulations to the runner up of the open category. You will be receiving an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop as well as a signed copy of my how to draw book, Draw with Jazza, Creating Characters. On top of that, you'll get six months of free premium Skillshare membership grant access to them, many thousands of epic and expert courses, and of course you will be eligible for the community prize voting. And now without any further ado, we arrive to the first prize winner of the open category of the Future Clickbait art competition. And the winner of the open category is artist Istrandar with a piece called Technological Phagocyt... Phag... Phagocytosis. Whatever that word is. I'm gonna be honest, my first reaction to seeing this piece was they surely did not paint this because it's just too good. But sure enough, looking at their work in progress, images reveal that they have put a lot of work into this and made this look absolutely stunning. I am blown away at the subtlety yet extremity with which this theme was pulled off and the familiarity of the environment and yet the absolute topsy-turvying techie tipping of it on its head is incredible and so cool to look at. I love the colors, I love the contrast, the visual effects, the neon effects without being overwhelming. So sublime and so well deserving of the first prize of this competition. Amazing entry and a huge thank you to them for contributing their talent. Massive congratulations to our first prize winner. Such an amazing artwork. I'm sure you all agree watching this. The first prize winner of the open category will receive an item of their choosing from the jazzstudios.com shop as well as one year of free premium Skillshare membership with access to their many thousands of courses, as well as a Huey on Canvas Pro 12 tablet. I have nothing but praise for the epicness that is the Pro 12 tablet. The device with 8,192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity and a battery-free stylus has tilt support and features stunning color with 120% sRGB color gamut and helps present 16.7 million colors vividly with a full laminated anti-glare glass display. This new generation epic tablet is portable comes with an adjustable stand, it's light and convenient to carry anywhere, it comes with the size and simplicity of a sketchbook, but of course packs all of the punch and power of an epic digital tablet. The device is currently at a new release discount, so check it out with a link in the description and make sure to snap it up while the discount's available. I have a lot of people asking me for my recommendation for the best digital display tablet to start off with if they want to enter and get a professional quality digital display but don't have enough of a budget to get something really big, the Pro 12 is really really nice, great quality and it's just that entry level of affordability while packing that pro level punch. But there is one last prize to touch on which is yet to be assigned and that is because it needs to be voted on by you guys. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to click on and vote and the winner based on community voting will receive the Huey on Innsbruck H950P tablet featuring a battery free stylus, a nice sized work area with 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity eight customizable express keys, pen tilt functionality, and the portability and build quality that Huion is known for. As with the 640p, there's a discount available. Click the link in the description to go check out more. It's a limited offer from Huion just for you guys, so go check it out while you can. I wanna thank all of the amazing sponsors for making these challenges really exciting with the prizes that they contribute and for supporting the channel and making these competitions possible. And most of all, I wanna thank all of you for making them as vibrant and exciting as they are by contributing your amazing ideas. I go through all of the entries personally, and of course, I can't feature them all in this video, but I wanna thank you all so much for contributing your creative ideas. So many of them that I laughed at or really enjoyed. I really do wanna just thank you though for putting in the effort and being a part of this amazing community and hope you enjoyed the creation process and having a bit of fun with art while you contributed. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, if you wanna find out about future competitions as they're announced, click that link in the description and sign up for the newsletter. A massive thank you once again to all participants. And as we reach the holiday period and are about to enter a new year. I want to know what you guys think would be some great competition ideas for next year. Let's get ambitious. Let's get, get some cool ideas flowing. I'm going to read the comments and get some ideas, maybe pluck a few out that are especially cool and use them for a future competition.
competition. I want to get some bouncing back and forth and I want 2019 to be as exciting and awesome and epic as ever. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.